Hi, and welcome to my world. Uh, today is the, uh, December 3rd, 2023. And it would have been my mom's 64th birthday today. Uh, but um, as some know, uh, that she passed away back on January 26, uh, 2023. Um, stage uh, lung cancer what um, led to her passing. And I, I clearly miss my mom every, every single day. I do have uh, reminders here. Some things more obvious than others. Um, the blanket I got her for Mother's Day, along with her first walking cane, uh, it, it hangs directly behind me. Uh, the Christmas tree you see here, she decorated th that once years ago. And then, and then every year she would like, Bag it up as is, unplug it, throw a trash bag over it, put it in a closet, and then come the holiday following holiday season, take it out of the closet and and plug it, plug the sucker back in. Decorate it once, never again. It's like it's 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 permanently decorated. And of course, I have a a picture of my mom here. Um, that that sits here to my immediate left. Uh, uh, so anytime I'm looking over, looking at the, in this direction here, I see the, I see the picture of my mom. So it's, uh, kind of why when you look at, uh, see on my streams and stuff like that, or the shorts here on my channel, it's like I'm sitting this way looking, cause this is, and then when I, or looking over here to, uh, check the chat during, during during one of my live streams i see the picture of my mom so it's like it's like here to here to here so it's like so so i have these uh reminders of my mom around me it's like so it's like she's always she's always on my mind uh and and i miss her a lot because she was my best friend she was my biggest supporter in 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 in, in so many ways it's like uh, she, uh, she was the reason why she, why I have that confidence and like doing the nightly streams and stuff. Um, she believed in me that I could potentially do something with it. Uh, she encouraged me with it because it was like, uh, like, you know, that's what a mom does. She, she encourages you. Um, so I was like, and it's, uh. It, it, it keeps me going. Yeah. Because I do have a very, very, very hard time of reaching out uh, and, uh, to others when I, when I need help or stuff like that. I try, I, I try very much not to bother anyone. Um, but, uh, so it's like, I, I have to, um, So uh, I have the, that is like uh, these little mementos I have about my mom is what's basically keep, still keeping me going at this point. So I say all that, but I do have something funny to share. Uh, this is a new story involving my mom. Um, courtesy of the Candom County Hall of Justice. Because... A few days ago, um, within the past week, or a little over a week, uh, but anyway, my mom received a jury service notice. Right? And the reason why I'm holding it like this is I'm obviously uh, uh, hiding, uh, covering my uh, my address. But she received a jury uh, a, a a a jury service notice. Um, so my initial reaction was to, and I did actually call up the jury office and pointing out, it's like, uh, left a message, a nice message, as polite as I could be saying, saying that, uh, my mom passed away back in January. Can you please update your records accordingly? I did not get a call back, uh, as of, as of yet, uh, 
of like a, not that I expect one, but it would be nice if, if someone from the uh, jury office uh, would call and apologize. I mean that that would be nice, but I highly doubt that would actually happen because. Uh, but still, but then I actually. Uh, Look at the date, because normally when the you know the jury summons are sent out, they they they're sent out actually was the equivalent of more than uh almost two months notice. Uh, I looked at the date of uh, on the back. It says you are summoned uh, to serve as a pettit juror on January twenty second, twenty twenty four. So keep in mind that I said at the very beginning here of this little video. That my mom passed away back on January 26th of 2023. So they want her, wanted her to serve as a uh, as a pettit juror. The week a week from when she passed away, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, the week uh, a year to the week that she passed away. That's that's yeah, that phrasing works. And uh. And it's like, wow, that's, uh, like, as if I would ever remember, like, forget the day that my mom passed away. It's like, the, the, uh, the jury service notice that she gets is, like, is for the week that she passed away. Like, the, like the week anniversary, like, the, the anniversary of the week she passed away is, like, <laughs> the, the surrealness of it. Is uh, <laughs> uh, is just mind boggling. It's like it's like you you would think uh, aliens would have something to do with that, uh, with just how nuts this was. But then uh, I I looked at it again, and then there's the one thing that's on the back of these cards. Um, uh, that that actually made me laugh out loud when when I actually instead of just shredding, I just looked at the back of it fully, and then there's this line, and it is of course it's uh uh like what is it? It's a, it's a couple of things here. It's like step three on is like follow the court's instructions for virtual or in person reporting. Please do not report in person. Until instructed by the court. Well, I don't think my mom would be uh, able to do anything virtually or in person. Unless the uh, the Hall of Justice is uh, doing seances. Which would be kind of cool if that's the case, you know. Uh, conduct a seance to fulfill a... Like, to fulfill, like, the jury box. It's like, yeah, that the... the you know that that actually would be kind of cool if they actually if that was actually uh, a thing. And uh, <laughs> are they actually doing that? I, I don't know. Then there is this line here: the New Jersey judiciary will, with advance notice, provide accommodations consistent with the Americans with Disability Act. I'm not sure how accommodating they can be. Um, like what do they want? Would they be accommodating for my mom's uh, ashes? Her, uh, I'm I'm not sure. It's like, would, would that fall under the Americans with Disability Act? I, I I honestly don't think so. I mean, uh, this is a. Uh, it's like, uh, it's. It's insane, and but the fact that this actually arrived in the mail for my mom, it's. I have to laugh. I have to. I. I in a way, I have to joke about it because otherwise, I will be bawling my freaking eyes out. And it's like, I. I don't know. I so I just decided here for. My mom's birthday. I figure I just share this little, this little bit of of, of surreal real 
uh, I'm not sure what you call it. This little bit of of nuttiness. Uh, it's like um, <laughs> that happens though. But anyway, mom, I miss you so much, and um, maybe it's you think is like providing like a bit of like uh, giving me a funny moment to talk about. <laughs> it's like. I don't know, but I miss you a, a lot. And uh, mom, if this was you, <laughs> I appreciate the uh, you just giving me something brand new to talk about <laughs> and to laugh about. And obviously, also to uh, maybe also cry about a little bit here. Anyway, um, uh, so uh, yeah. Uh, Thank y'all. If you, thank y'all very much and everything, but uh, uh, tighten your friendship bracelets. Uh, stay safe. Um, we'll see y'all uh, later tonight uh, over on my Twitch channel for our usual Sunday madness, and um, and also we'll catch y'all here in the uh, next video here on YouTube. Have a great day, folks, and happy birthday, mom.